But of course, what is posing a bigger threat to regional security here in Northeast Asia is North Korea's nuclear program. The issue is expected to top the agenda of this year's annual U.S.-China dialogue, which kicked off earlier this morning in Beijing. Our Park ji has the details on this two-day meeting. The U.S. and China began their sixth meeting of the U.S.-China Strategic and Economic Dialogue in Beijing from this Wednesday. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry and Treasury Secretary Jacob Liu will discuss a diverse range of issues with their Chinese counterparts, Chinese State Councilor Yang Zhechu and Vice Premier Wang Yang. U.S. State Department spokesperson Jen Psaki says the North Korean nuclear issue is sure to come up during the talks. But certainly we expect uh, the threat from North Korea, our concerns about North Korea, to be a part of the discussion uh, ongoing on the ground now. However, the two sides are far apart on issues related to Pyongyang's nuclear program. China, North Korea's only ally, wants to address the issue by moderate persuasion and resuming the long-stalled six-party talks. The U.S. says North Korea first needs to take steps to abide by its past obligations, such as the landmark statement it signed at the six-party talks in September 2005, when Pyongyang agreed to abandon its nuclear program. How to best um, work together to put the necessary pressure on North Korea, but the ball remains in their court to take uh, the necessary steps to abide by their international obligations. A bilateral investment treaty and China's valuation of its currency will also be discussed. The two nations will also exchange views on sensitive issues like territorial disputes in the South China Sea and China's alleged hacking attacks on U.S. companies. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.